Gypsy Heart, and you're watching Beyond 1031, where it's not just about Halloween, but it's about family. All right, guys, there we go. Our day is waiting for us right out there. So we're going to, oh, I've already gotten dressed. We are going to make our day. We're gonna get out there and do our day, and we're gonna make this day awesome. Well, it's not supposed to rain today, but those clouds up there, they're pretty threatening. I'm pretty sure that the, they could uh, give us a drop or two of precipitation upon our nearly bald heads. Quick stop at home. Still concerned about the weather. Next appointment I have though is undercover. Um, however, I'm changing shirts and gears because I'm going out to um, uh, basically satisfy another stipulation of the whole immigration process and stuff. So, whoo, awesome stuff. Um, what else am I doing besides scratching my nose? I was thinking about walking in the park today, but oh, there's like not enough time to like do what you want to do because you have to be doing what you have to do, like dishes, for instance. Have to do the dishes. Not right now, later. And don't give me the whole John FK, if not now, or wait, yeah, if not now, when kind of thing. I'm gonna head out there, out there. Well guys, not to be an oversharer or anything, which I'm about ready to be. You'll remember approximately a year ago, I took a punishment, my last punishment for forgetting an outro because I don't do punishments anymore. Um, and the punishment that I chose for myself kind of was to get my back waxed. Holy cow, it was horrible. Some of you thought, oh, that's not a real punishment. Yeah, right, uh, let's see you guys go and do it. And guys out there, because I mean, women, well, I mean, okay, if, if you're a woman and you have a hairy back, then yes, please get it waxed. But what I'm saying is, let me adjust you guys. Stay there, focus on me now. I still do it. I still keep up on it because it's a great feeling, not when it happens, but it's a great feeling and it's um, personal hygiene, right? It's it's escaping what, what, you know, to make yourself aesthetically look and feel better because when you feel better about yourself, your attitude is better. And uh, I was self-conscious about it, so now I don't have to worry about it anymore. And I just had it done. And it took 19 minutes which if you've never had it done before, 19 minutes is a pretty dang small amount of time. In, out, done, 19 minutes. I timed myself from the time I walked in to the time I walked out the door. It's amazing. <sighs> Feel so much better now. So I will also say this, guys, take care of yourselves. Women love it. So if all the Hellions right now, all the female Hellions out there right now, let me get a hands up if you like it when your man takes care of themselves. Yep, not a single one of you said, oh no, nah, I don't want my man taking care of himself. Personal hygiene hell. <laughs> Actually be like, oh, personal hygiene hell. Something more like that. <laughs> well, my goal today is to make it to mom and dad's and attempt to start their lawnmower and mow their grass. Yeah, so I'm gonna mount you guys up here and we're gonna get on the way. Did I mention though that the work day is over? The laborers part? Did I mention that I ate a sandwich in the truck and I made a mess? Did I mention that we're on our way? Whee! It's like a roller coaster without the coaster. Or the rollers. Well, today sure is a contrast from yesterday. I mean, it looks like it could unleash, but those are pretty high up. I don't think uh, we're gonna be getting any rain. But they sure are spooky looking. Spooky clouds. Kill. I don't think I've ever seen so many raccoons in the same place. I know I edited that down, but they were literally within like five to seven hundred feet of each other. Oh, look at that! They got lights and sirens up there on the other side. You guys probably can't see it. This is a, a food store right there, and over there they've got like sirens and lights. So I guess it doesn't happen just in Lakewood, huh? I'll be dang. Wow. Spooky 
skies and green trees. Not to be confused with spooky pies and green sleeves. Those are two totally different things. It's like apples and oranges. So we are here and here is the lawnmower. The sun is still up in the sky. It's not raining. If we can get this thing running, then we can go mow the yard. The gas in it, this, oh, first of all, this has been sitting for, oh my gosh, eight years. It hasn't been started in like at least that long. All the gasoline that's in it. Ooh, yeah. It's turned to varnish. That's bad. We should probably drain the gas before we put fresh stuff in it. Big or small, I'll work on them all. Ew, that's the oil. Well, that shouldn't be oil. That looks more like diesel. That looks like diesel oil. <laughs> Wow, okay, so we're draining oil. Let's start. A time later, we've got the oil changed. Ew, look at that. Uh, let's see, we got the oil changed, got fresh fuel in it. So, um, pretty sure we're ready to start. This could be fun, it could be uneventful. Either way, it'll be interesting. joke you could ever play on anybody that is a passenger that is sleeping in your vehicle if you wake up right now go ah! and then have them wake up and see that and it looks like a truck is coming right for them it is awesome it is so much fun okay little known fact I'm also talking to Angie right now so she just heard everything so I can never use that on her damn or maybe I can <laughs> I'm getting to bed earlier tonight than I did last night however it's still late so, I'm going to peruse through the comments, and uh, there's certainly one that I, I want to hit on, and it's going to be the second one here. Um, so, cock, it's time for. Cock, it is time for. <clears throat> that didn't come out right. Okay, uh, Tony D, you say hello. You were first. Awesome. John John 9111 Troy, you talking about your dad is making me cry about mine because we lost our dad last night. So, FU 2019. Dude, I am so, so sorry. That's. Oh man, I, I'm so sorry. And I posted and I said, I don't know, I don't have any words. Just our hearts are, are with you and your family. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Audrey Venry Mortar. I probably didn't say that right. Uh, hello, I know what you're feeling, Troy. My mother had it also. Greetings from the Netherlands. And so, so many others. I thank you all for your kind words. Tim Francis, you say, Troy, you might want to step away from vlogs because obviously it's getting a little worse. Well, yeah, it is. I mean, I, I know you haven't been here for that long, but... Um, I vlogged through my stepson's suicide. I vlogged through a horrible divorce and child custody battle. Um, I have vlogged through everything, and not because I'm just crazy like that, but because this gives me documentation to look back on. And, you know, when you look back on things years later, they don't seem so bad. 
it's always worse right now in the present. And um, well, that, that could be my advice to you, John, or something that I could say to you is that um, time may not heal all wounds, but if we concentrate on the positive things and the things that we loved about somebody, then that makes it a little bit easier to swallow, I guess. Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm off on a tangent. Uh, Susan Martin, never comment, always watch. So sorry about your dad. Stay strong for everybody. Thank you very much. Francis Royer, you say stay strong for your mom. Yeah, I actually cut it out of yesterday's video to where I, I talked a brief moment about, you know, I can handle me. And it's sad and it sucks, but most of the stress right now is coming. is is has to do with, you know, on, on my mom's shoulders. And that's what I have a hard time with. And <laughs> that's what I have a... I mean, I have a hard time with everything, but that's something that's... <sighs> oh, man. I, I, I just... I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stutter all night, besides the fact that I'm tired. Just to let you guys know, too, I'm thumbs-upping all the comments just so that you know that I read them. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm thumbs-upping, like, uh, KE5KQC. My mom had dementia. I know how you feel. She did not know me for at least a year, and it sucked big time. Eh, yeah. So I'm, I'm thumbs-upping to say, yes, I read your comment. Carrie 3601 you say a friend of yours found a support group that really helped her in a similar situation. Yeah, I have recently found Molly's movement on Facebook. It's a Facebook group and um, this gentleman documented, filmed his mom's condition from as soon as they, basically as soon as they found out until the very end. And um, it's helped a lot of people. So yeah, that's something that I'm a part of now. Truth 27, um, you say so many things to say. First thing though is advice. Positivity in the vlog is a wonderful thing, but don't hide the negative stuff. Don't ever bottle it up and hide behind a mask of positivity. It isn't healthy, it isn't sustainable, and it will burn you out fast. Too many folks, especially vloggers, destroy themselves, both physically and emotionally, trying to keep up appearances. Um, I understand that, and, and I can appreciate that, but it's, it's not really an, an appearance. It's just I don't want to... Um, I mean, I, I, I vlog what's important and that's why I chose to, to vlog this. Um, so I mean, it, it's, it's never in a, in a, an appearance. It's just, I don't vlog everything. I don't vlog going to the bathroom and you guys are, you know, you're welcome for that because that's just something that I choose not to share. So I know that's totally like not the same, but kind of the same. I'm having a really difficult time with COC tonight. And most of it is because I'm tired. So I'm just going to end it here and say, Triff27, thank you for your concern. Um, and I am going to um, go to bed. <laughs> and thank all of you for all of your well wishes and support. It means so much to me. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy haunting. And uh, what happens tomorrow? Ooh, ooh. Tomorrow, Phoenix for a couple hours tomorrow, so that's gonna be exciting. And we get ready for a uh, weekend uh, in Canada, so that's gonna be cool too. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye.